제 10회. 빨래 하러 가요. 안녕하세요. Welcome everyone. I'm Lisa for Let's Be Korean. You're in the right place if you love Korea, its people, the culture, and you want to learn its language. Okay, we can't start today without our wonderful guide into the Korean language. Here is Mr. Stephen Revere. Hello, everybody. 안녕하세요. It's nice to be with you again, and today we're going to be talking about where you're going to go in order to do something. I'm going there to get something done, and hopefully we'll be having a little fun while we're at it. Okay, and looking sexy and red today, here is Miriam, our student. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Stephen. 안녕하세요. Oh, but you know, I feel so tired from yesterday. Too much walking, too much shopping. Oh, serious. I know exactly what you mean. And, oh, we can't forget our other guest. We have Jason. Hello, Jason. 네, 안녕하세요. 저는 제이슨입니다. You know, I'm really glad that we're going to be learning this topic today because I really need to know how to say, I want to go eat something after this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Jason's hungry again, I see. Yeah. Uh, and... I called you yesterday, I think I heard in Miriam's uh, intra entrance there, that apparently you guys were out shopping together, is that what you were doing? That's right, shop till you draw, let me tell you, okay, we were shopping, <laughs> we went shopping uh -huh, yesterday. You guys went shopping, I, I thought maybe you were on a date, but I, I, I should have known better than that. <laughs> well, none of your business anyhow, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're actually on a double date shopping. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, anyways, let's head into our topic today. Let's go find out what we're learning in Let's Do It. Let's do it. 어디 가요? 빨래하러 가요. Okay, as you heard Jason saying earlier, he wants to learn how to get somewhere. Okay, and um, today our phrases are 어디 가요? 어디 is where, 가요 is going to. So where are you going to? 어디 가요? And we also have 뭐뭐 하러 가요, okay, which means I'm going somewhere to do blank blank, okay, 하러 가요, 하, 하다 means to do something, 하러 가요. And um, by the way, I just have a question for you guys, do you guys live alone by any chance? Well, I live with my sisters um, mm -hmm. nearby my school. Okay, and what about Jason? Actually, I live with a Korean family. So mm -hmm. you guys must do your own laundry? Well, no one does my laundry. So <laughs> we just send it to the um the laundry <laughs> that? Yeah. Okay. And Jason? Yeah, I usually have to do it myself. Mm -hmm. um. And the reason we're asking is because our main expression is right? Right. That's the expression for today. And the thing that's really gonna confuse some of you is you're gonna realize that Odiro Kayo is used in for the future tense, but it seems like it should be present tense, doesn't it? 어디 가요? Where are you going? Hmm? Where are you going? You're talking, that's present tense. 어디 가고 있어? You would think, you should have to say, right? No, we say 어디, in Korean they say, 어디 가요? Where are you going? Is the present tense. 어디 가요? And then, that's followed up with something Haro kayo, right? Yo, in in this expression, they said, palle haro kayo, right? Palle is laundry. Palle haro kayo, I'm going to do my laundry. You guys go to school, right? Where are you guys going after school most of the time these days? I go and work out. Or I go and do some shopping. In Korean, of course. Okay, oh, yeah, perfect. Right. Yeah. Well, 운동 하러 가요. 운동 하러 가요. We learned that last time. 운동 하다 means to exercise or to work out. 하러 가요. I'm going to go work mm -hmm. out. Uh, actually, Stephen does a lot of working out. You work out after the show every day, right? <laughs> That's right. Yes, I'm uh, going to work out because uh, uh, 내가 살 빼야 되니까 맨날 살 빼러 가요. Yes. 살 빼러 가요. Yes, I go okay. to use, lose a few pounds. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, what about you, Jason? What do you do after the program or after school? Mm. You know, usually, after, especially after this program, I'm so exhausted that 잠을 자러 가요. Ah, ah. 잠, which means sleep. 잠을 자러 to sleep. I go to sleep. Mm. I go to sleep to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, actually, our focus today is on Blank, blank, e, kayo. So you would put in like uh, a place, like 
the school or the library. So kayo means to go somewhere. So let's make some sentences using blank e kayo. Norebang e kayo. Oh, she mm. knows this one. <laughs> okay, norebang would be the karaoke place. Okay, norebang e kayo. Jason? Yeah, so chibe uh, kayo. Chibe kayo. I like that one. To go <laughs> home. I just want to go home after this. <laughs> okay, all right, this time let's take the place. And use an objective, okay? For example, okay, if you say hakyo, that's school. So hakyo e kayo hamyon. If you say hakyo e kayo, then you can say, what do you do at school? For example, we study at school. So you say, kongbu haro kayo. Okay, mm -hmm. do you get it? All right, let's try this out. Um, oh, I forgot one important thing. I've got this hammer, and every time you get something wrong, I get to hit, uh -oh. not you, not you, but Steven! Yes. Uh, thank you very wait, much. Wait a second. Wait a second. When they're wrong, I get hit? Well, you know, as much as they love you, I'm sure they're going to try really hard. It's just more fun. And besides, I, I can't reach them, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get started. All right, I'll give you a place. <laughs> All right, I'll give you the first place. Let's start with Marion. Pekwajam. Pekwajam is the department store. Go ahead. Shopping uh, Arokaya. Just get it wrong. Come on. <laughs> okay. She said she's going to go shopping. Steve, come on now. Come on. No offering money under the <laughs> table. All right. Next one. Norebang. Nore haro kayo. Great. Great. You're liking this too yes, much. Yes. Yes. No way. I'm not hit yet. Uh -huh. Okay. Next one. Tosoguan, which is library. Kumbu haro kayo. Okay. And Nongu Chan. Nongu is basketball and chan can mean stadium or court. Okay, Nongu Chan. Nongu Rokayo. I love you, I love you. Oh, baby, I love you. I love you. Okay. You did that on purpose, didn't you? No. You did that on purpose. I swear, I didn't know how to say it. Actually, you go to do basketball in Korea, so Nongu Harokayo. Nongu Harokayo. All right, <laughs> they're great. I don't think I need any more now. <laughs> and let's go on to our pronunciation clinic. Okay, today uh, we use palle haro kayo, and I think the double B or the P is really hard for foreigners to, foreigners to say because this isn't in our vocabulary. Pa, mm -hmm. okay? Try to repeat after me. Pa, 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 pa. But this is the sound that you want to imitate, and uh, we said several times during the show that pali pali, which means to hurry or to rush, is pretty much an essential word in the Korean language. That's correct. And I think we've got three main words that we've mm -hmm. gone over today or in the past few days. We've got fast, hurry, pali. Yes. Not to be confused with laundry. Pale. <laughs> okay? Pale. Right. Uh -huh. You're changing the vowel at the end. And then we also had, I just said that I, sal, uh, Peda, right? Okay. We talked about losing weight, okay? So, peda, pale, pali. Let's, let's go over those three. Okay, that's great. Now, let's we'll review what we've learned today through Wrap It Up. Wrap It Up with Lisa and Steven. Where are you? And before we finish up the show, one last time, our main expressions for today. Where are you going? 어디 가요? 어디 가요? 어디 가요? And the answer, 빨래 하러 가요. I'm going to do my laundry. 빨래 하러 가요. Great. All right, Stephen, any last words? No, it was a nice job, everybody. Thank you all for being with us again for one more 10 minute episode. And we'll see you again next time. Please join us here at Let's Be Korean. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.